In this video, I'm going to take you through the steps of registering your student for the 2019-2020 school year. Uh, first thing you need to do is sign in with an email account and your password. Uh, if you don't have an email account, there's a link on our registration page to take you to sign up for a Gmail account, which will let you access then teacher ease. So uh, with my email, I'm going to log in. So I'm going to use the email info at cusd50.org. That's my email. And then I'm going to plug in my password. And once I'm logged in, it's going to take me to uh, my main parent page. And you want to find uh, where registration is. It's actually up underneath the miscellaneous tab at the top of your screen. If you're doing this on a mobile device, you may have to view the menu for TeacherEase, but I just want to point out that online registration is under the title Miscellaneous. So once you go to Miscellaneous, you're going to click on that button there, that online registration. And once you click that, it's going to take you to the main registration page, and you will see uh, all the documents that you need to read uh, for the next school year. Uh, and once you've done that, uh, you're going to click Complete Form. Clicking the Complete Form button will take you to the next page. And it's going to ask you for your student information. First thing you need to do is tell us that, yes, your student is returning. Uh, then you want to enter in your phone numbers. Now, this is really important that we have up-to-date information uh, for uh, communicating with you. Uh, so please check your address and phone number. Uh, please include a cell number as well if you can. Um, we offer uh, text messaging now through our alerts, so it's a great way to get text messages. So if you enter your cell phone number here and then sign up for text alerts, we'll be able to send you and let you know if we have any school closings uh, due to weather or uh, closings for half days and those sort of things. So I'm just going to enter in my uh, cell phone number, which is just the district central office number for now. I'm going to check uh, that the address is accurate. It is, so then I'm going to click Next. And then I'm going to look over my family information. Uh, again, we ask that you really take a moment and verify that all the information is up to date and current. And it is, so I'm going to go then to the next page. And I'm going to put in my emergency contact information. Now, if you already have entered this in from previous years, it's going to be auto-filled. But again, please confirm that this information is current and up-to-date. Then I'll go to the next page. So I've uh, completed this information. And once I've done that, I can hit Submit. And it's going to take me to uh, the last page and now registration isn't complete till I pay my fees or set up a payment plan with the school district. So I'm going to go and pay my fees and click uh, the bottom button here down on the lower right hand corner. Click pay fees. Now I am registering a high school student so it's going to have our automatic that registration fee there $175 and then I have the optional uh, fees that you, depending on your student's school that you can add. So I'm going to uh, definitely get the yearbook. I don't need parking, so I'm going to then uh, look at my total. Now, if you are unable to pay all this, you can call our uh, central office at 815-943-4022 to set up a payment plan. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can go to the next page, hit continue, and it's going to redirect me to a payment page. You're just going to enter in your uh, credit card information or debit card information and submit. So make sure to confirm my name is correct. I'm going to put in my credit card number. So once I have all my credit card information entered, I'm going to hit uh, next and it's going to ask me to confirm the payment information, my email, make sure your email is there because we'll, it'll send you a confirmation. And then I just need to hit confirm and make sure you see the total there on the right hand side. I'll hit confirm. Once I've submitted payment, I'll get a receipt here. So you can print a receipt for your records, or you can take a screenshot. And I am all registered for the 
2020 school year. If you have any questions, you can uh, call your child's school or you can uh, stop by uh, your child's school and our front office staff will be happy to assist you at any of our school buildings. Thank you.